Next, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 Shimada Peaks CPU has been spotted. AMD Ryzen 7000 and 9000 series gain 10% more performance using Windows 11 24 H2 update. New information emerges about the RTX 5000 series laptop. And lastly, more information are emerging about the AMD Radeon RX 8000 RDNA 4 GPUs. Okay, so firstly, we have Everest at Allrack29 underscore has revealed this information about the Shimada Peak, which is gonna be the Threadripper 9000. Well, allegedly, we don't know for sure that would be the case, but this is the leak that we're looking at, which is the HS code that has been leaked which has this information about the ic64 bit microprocessors which is called shimada peak 12 or basically shimada peak that would be the code name for the threadripper 9000 allegedly and as you can see we have a 96 core model and of course it's going to be supported in the motherboards of tr5 platform or socket aimed is offering basically two models the wrx 90 and the trx 50 so yeah these are the two motherboards that will be supported for the threadripper 9000 series of course we don't know for a fact this is going to be threadripper 9000 or not but it is highly likely it's going to be a threadripper 9000 the shimada peak so we'll see about that and next up we have some information about the amd ryzen 9000 and 7000 series processors basically the recent windows 11 24 h2 preview build has changed the whole benchmark and now we're looking at around 10 percent on average 10 percent to 11 percent faster than the previous windows 11 23 h2 build so that is quite a impressive uplift so hardware unbox recently did a benchmark or re-re-review you could say that it's a quite an interesting term and of course kid guru tech both of them have done some in benchmark about this particular windows update and the videos will be in the link in the description so you can check them out of course but let me just go through the average of course test only that particular part which is aim the ryzen 7 9700x versus the 23h2 and the 24h2 both windows updates we're looking at 11 first percent faster on average at 1080p so that's an impressive uplift that's that's for sure just by updating your windows you can get a generational uplift which is kind of mind-blowing it's surprising that microsoft has been lacking the ryzen's performance which is crazy not just for 9000 series but even for the 7000 series as you can see the ryzen 7 7700x getting the similar case of 10 percent faster which is kind of crazy like both of the cpus from the 7000 series and the 9000 series are getting an, an incredible uplift in some cases the intel 14600k or probably any other intel processor will get some of the benefit of this particular windows build because not all games were having this kind of situation but as you can see in this particular game which is the gears 5 they got some impressive result so yeah it is quite crazy that 9000 series previously in the 23h2 build that 9700x was slower than the 14600k but now according to the hardware un unbox testing it is pretty evident that 9700x is getting even better performance than the 4600k even though both got some tremendous performance uplift so that is quite an impressive feat not gonna lie similar case here as you can see kid guru did the same similar test and you can clearly tell that performance uplift is there even for the 7800x 3d it getting some decent performance uplift here so that's pretty impressive not only that the 9950x got a performance uplift in far cry 6 9700x got some decent performance uplift here and even the 7950x got some performance uplift so in general all the 7000 9000 or even i'm hearing that 5000 series is also getting some performance uplift so this is crazy that just one particular windows update probably has to do with something with kernel but i'm not gonna deep dive into that because i'm not an expert into that at all so obviously one particular update just changed everything however as i mentioned both cpus which is the 9700x and the 7700x got performance uplifts so in general speaking the generational gain from 7000 series to 9000 series is not that much which is only two percent still not that great so 9000 series still being a very underwhelming launch doesn't surprise that because this windows update isn't only then benefiting 9000 series it's also benefiting 7000 or even intel processors so it doesn't change the fact that yes the performance has been gained the generational uplift is not there next up we have some an article from the wccf tech and there's basically saying that nvidia geforce rtx 5060 exactly rtx 5060 laptop has been basically 
somewhat leaked the information at least so this particular inf information has been leaked in weibo forum and basically they got the screenshot and as you can tell it's uh they're talking about the rtx 5060 as it says 60 level cards and they're also mentioning gddr7 so it, we already know that they're gonna be utilizing gddr7 on the 5000 series of gpus and now it is pretty much evident that yeah that that is the case and not only that the power limit which is the tgp of course which will be reduced from 140 to 115 so there's a reduction there 25 watts so it's gonna be efficient and i'm guessing 5060 will be performing better than 4060 hopefully it's, uh, no, it won't be the case like the 4060 and 3060 be performing nearly the same so i'm guessing this time at least nvidia will provide some performance some generational generational gain while also being efficient as you can see so there are some information from the forum itself which is will the 5060 notebook be available early next year and the answer from the op is that probably not there are too many things to change so obviously that kind of makes sense 5060 even the gpu might not be launching early 2025 so it's going to be like in the mid 2025 or later 2025 so we'll see about that and next up we have some juicy information coming from geekbench and this is about the rdna4 the 8000 series of gpus from radeon rx so let's look into it of course so basically this is a leak coming from geekbench and of course there's a score we're seeing which is 32070 looks pretty small usually even if you look closely for the 7000 series of gpus from amd they're usually crossing 210k so this score is probably not accurate or probably because it's an engineering sample that's why the score doesn't make sense but anyway they're utilizing this particular information for the gpu so again, as you can see this is the gpu information about the open seal first so let's look into the platform which is the advanced micro devices of course amd and we have a code name for the device which is gfx 1201 if you know clearly that the 7000 series of gpus were called the gfx 11 xx or 11 zero one zero two whatever so clearly this is gonna be the rdna4 because it's 1201 so that would mean it's it is the case and we're looking at a compute units of 28 meaning it's gonna be 56 cus because you know double that also the maximum frequency we're looking at which is 2101 megahertz and the device memory which is gonna be 15.9 meaning it's gonna be 16 gigs so is it is it the top of the line i am not sure and as i mentioned video cards have done a comparison here so yeah as you can tell the 7900 xtx getting 211k and the 7800 xt is getting 140k so clearly the whatever this score is is it doesn't make sense because this is gonna be an engineering sample so yeah this is a terrible score definitely and it's the same gpu so i'm guessing yeah this is a test not only that we have some information coming from kepler and basically there has been some leak about this which is 256 20 256 18 and 192 19 so what is it so he's basically referring to that 256 bit 20 gbps that would result in 640 gigabytes per second of the memory speed that would be the case and of course at the next one which is going to be 20, 256 bit 18 gbps meaning it's going to be 576 gigabyte per second and the last one which is the 192 bit bus with 19 gbps that would result in 456 gigabyte per second bandwidth so these are the three variants right now we have information about for the rdna4 so right now we can think of four variants right now which is for the amd rdna4 and that is r24 de6 as it's gonna be navi 48 xt the r24 de8 no idea what that is gonna be because that's still confusing r25 dp4 which is gonna be navi 44 xt that's possibly the case and r25 dp8 another similar variant but probably a lower tier so there we go we have the basic concept about the rdna4 and the rx 8800 xt we're looking at which is going to be navi 48 xtx that would be the top of the line i think because well there was a rumor that right this time around amd is not targeting the top of the line gpu so unfortunately that is unfortunate yes but it is what it is rdna4 will not have a top of the line 
GPU that will compete against the 5090, I guess. So probably they're targeting 5080, and this is the best comp competitor coming from AMD here, which is, again, the maximum stream processor we're looking at 4096 when you do calculate the CUs, of course. And yeah, 16 gigabit, 16 gigabyte G6 memory, 256 bit bus, and yeah, memory switch is gonna be top of the line, which is 20 Gbps. That is the leak suggest. The next one is gonna be 8700 XT for the stream, and the stream processors will be coming at 3584. Again, we, according to the leak, we can consider this as a 16 gigs variant G6 256 bit bus with a memory speed of 18 Gbps. And the last one, which is gonna be the 8600 XT, that is gonna be the Navi 44 XT, which possibly might be coming with 12 gigs of VRAM and 192 bit bus and the memory speed being 19 gbps of course there's going to be non-xt variants of each of these so we'll see about that but no top of the line 5090 competitor this time around